It is the video you will see only on 7 Eyewitness News. A Buffalo police officer caught on camera striking a man with his nightstick, then letting him go. Tonight, we are learning more about the officer at the center of this growing investigation. He is Officer Corey Krug. The BPD has suspended him indefinitely without pay. And since 7 Eyewitness News broke this story last night, we learned this isn't the first time Krug has faced allegations of crossing the line on the job. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Dranch live tonight from where it all happened at Chippewa in Pearl with new information. Ed. That's right, Joanna. We'll get to the officer's pass in just a second, but as you mentioned, this is exactly where it all happened early Thanksgiving morning. Brand new tonight, we've identified who the man on the ground actually is. However, he is not ready to come forward with his story just yet. I've also learned the man on the ground was actually with his friend, also seen in the video prior to the officer getting involved. Officer Corey Krug has been suspended without pay as a result of this video becoming public. The video was shot by our 7 Eyewitness News photographer early Thanksgiving morning. He was on assignment covering the police while on the job that night. At one point before the physical confrontation, Krug looks directly into our camera, but it was his colleagues who had to remind him he was being recorded when he was seen hitting the man on the ground. The vast majority of officers do the right thing each and every day, and when officers don't do the right thing across the line, there's consequences, and as we've shown in the past, we do what we have to do, take necessary action. In digging for more information on Officer Krug, we've discovered Krug. Tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 11. So that's three different lawsuits total by three different defendants. A police source tells me that Officer Krug has been on the Buffalo Police Department's force for at least 10 years or longer. So at this point, he's suspended without pay, and it's unclear if or when he'll actually return to work. Coming up on 7 Eyewitness News at 5 30, what about the federal government getting involved in that? We're digging for more information, and we'll have those details when we see you next at 5 30. For now, we're live on Chippewa Street this, uh, tonight, Edge Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News.